Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Well, this is the first update on the trailer that uh, we've actually started to rebuild. We're uh, over the hump on the demolish and now we're rebuilding. As you can see, I've got the frame stripped down bare. I've uh, pulled off all the wheels and the brake backings. In fact, I'm going to show you that brake right now. It had drum brakes on them and that's what three of the four of them looked like. Just full of grease. Those things weren't doing a darn thing. Well, they weren't doing anything anyway because none of the brakes were hooked up, but three of the four looked like that. That there's the little magnetic actuator that the electrics would push that magnet against the plate, which would cause the drum brakes to, to open up, but as you can see, with all that grease that was on them, yeah, they weren't doing nothing. So I've replaced, I'm replacing them. I've uh, bought some uh, electric over hydraulic disc brakes they arrived the other day so I'll be getting them on this week today's goal is to uh, get this frame painted and uh, put the subfloor down as you can see I've gone ahead it, it's been a couple of weeks I know since my last update because I've been doing a lot of thinking a lot of deciding making decisions going back and forth on how I wanted to do this but uh, I finally decided to do an outside steel frame so I've got the four posts and then across the top, this is to the back corner. It's all inch and a half by three inch, eighth inch thick tubing. Get a close up in here. We're inch and a half this way, three inches this way, and it's inch and a, eighth inch thick wall. It's all welded up. It's good and solid. When I grab and shake one, I don't know if this will show up on camera. I shake one, one wall and everything, or one post and everything shakes everywhere else on the frame so it's good and welded solid so like I said today I want to get the frame painted up I'm not going to worry about cleaning all the rust off that just take too long plus the paint I've got is one of those paints that's supposed to uh, help adhere to rust and change it then I'll get the subfloor put down which is three quarter inch pressure treated plywood and this week uh, then I'll get the brakes on the new brake systems on put the wheel wells on and start framing I'm going to use on the top for the roof, I'm going to use 2x4s just hanging on joist hangers that I'll tack weld into place onto that steel. I think that'll be plenty for the roof. I'm not going to be going up on the roof a lot anyway, so it'll even be it'll be stronger than what the old roof was. I'll probably put quarter inch plywood on top of that, quarter inch plywood all the way around the outside, then wrap it with some house wrap and then put the, uh, put the aluminum siding on, which is going to be a smooth aluminum on the siding because we're having a, a decal wrap done on the trailer instead of trying to paint it and do the graphics we'll just have it all done in a wrap in one piece they look good they're a little pricey but I think it'll be cheaper in the long run and quicker so anyway that's where we're at today and uh, this morning and I'll show you more during the week as we go along thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you soon bye bye well here we are at the end of the day from where we started this morning got the frame all painted spray painted black couple of coats got the floor in subfloors in that's a three-quarter inch pressure treated CDX plywood a couple of good good a sides though looks like put some uh, plastic on top of the frame underneath the plywood to help just give it that little bit of extra protection and uh, believe it or not that was an all-day project putting those in there's a lot of bolts in there I went ahead and drilled through put a uh, machine screw in and bolted it up underneath broke a bit wore one bit out broke another one and I still got about five more holes to do but uh, I'll get the drill bit new drill bit tomorrow and get going on that but good day of work and uh, things are looking up now now she's starting to look like something see you soon well another week's gone by and uh, not as far along as I'd like to be, but uh, you know what? Nothing ever gets done as fast as we'd like it to be, I'm sure. If any of you are like me, you wish things get done a little bit quicker, but everything takes time and there's always interruptions. As you can see, I got the wheel wells cut out, the plywood. Got the uh, new brakes, rotors on, backing plates. All four, all four axles have new disc brakes. And those will be uh, electric over hydraulic. With There's an actuator. It's uh, an electric pump that's driven by the brakes. I'm going to put it probably 
I'm not sure which side, probably this side, the service side here. It'll sit inside the trailer right on top of the wheel well, right about here. And it'll be a short run here to the hydraulic lines and then one over underneath there. I still got to hook those up. As you can see those hook up back here. There with a little red, I've left the red dust caps in there and the same on the other side. One thing I did, uh, didn't think of ahead of time, I've got both the uh, brake pads on the front side of the axles on this side and on the opposite side. I'll walk around there and show you. That's Rascal. He's my mouser. Keeps the mice out of the out of the, the shop in the winter time and the birds out in the springtime. On this side I put the brake pads kind of facing each other so it'll be a shorter run with the hydraulic line. Easier to work on too I think. But These are Kodiak brakes. I'll put a link down in the description for these along with the website where I bought them which if I remember correctly is Eastern Marine but they also have uh, a couple of other websites by different names but uh, they sell a lot of trailer part, parts I also bought the hydraulic electric over hydraulic actuator from them I also need to buy now looking through the manuals I see that I need a specific um, brake box inside my pickup that is recommended by the uh, the actuator manufacturer they actually they have a list so I gotta go on their website tonight and figure out who I'm gonna buy and get that ordered get the hydraulic lines ordered tonight along with some other stuff I've been talking during the week with my window manufacturer and door manufacturer the guy that's gonna make those for me um, still need information from him as far as the uh, the front wall here the door is going to go right in the middle off to where the hitch tongue is and that'll just be a normal walkthrough door but I got to find out the rough opening from him on that so I can frame that wall in this back wall I can do I'm reusing one of the old windows from the trailer that are still in decent shape so this wall I hope to have framed up by the end of the week along with the small framing that's going here in the back wall which is really just a one by three up both sides and across underneath that bar up there because this is the big doors on the back so but that's where we are right now like I said things aren't uh, moving along as quickly as I'd like to and yeah I am behind schedule to have this done by the middle of September since here it's the end of July almost but uh, I just got to start cranking on it and getting it done mostly it's getting was the delays this last couple of weeks was getting the information from the door and window companies and deciding what I was going to do in, in certain areas but those those details are figured out for the most part that I can start moving on framing and hopefully next week when I give you another update she's going to look like a trailer but uh, time will tell on that well in the meantime thanks for watching thanks for stopping by I really appreciate it click like if you like the video click don't like if you don't like the video but please do subscribe to the channel I do appreciate that and uh, I thank all of you who have subscribed already. You guys truly are an inspiration to me and uh, keep me plugging along and keep me going with your comments and, and just being there, knowing that you guys are watching the videos. I, I appreciate it. It makes, it makes it worthwhile doing this. So until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.